Okay, so this is one of the first steps on how to gold pan a sandy sample for zircon, apatite, rutile, garnet, whatever you want to do your geochronology or anything else on. So the first thing I did is I took something as simple as a window screen and I poured my coarse split on top and I shook it so all the fine stuff, usually less than about 500 microns, falls through. The rest I took out. If it's just a river sample, I just threw it away. If I was hand crushing, I put it back in the crusher and crushed it till it went through this screen. Don't ever reuse your screen because you can see a couple grains will get stuck. If it's woven, you can get all kinds of contaminants that will mess up your results. So the next step is I like to first rarefy everything in a five gallon bucket. So that kind of helps the gold pan process run more smoother. So what you do is you pour as much of your sample as you in, no more than about half to a third of the bucket, and you just start spinning the sample until you can feel that it's all become liquefied. And once you've done that, you slow down. You don't slow down abruptly, you slow down slowly, and that allows all your heavies to sink out first. But it depends on how much sample you have. If you have a bunch of sample, you can pour it out and then you can also scrape off some of the lights. That'll just be your clays, your quartzes and whatnot. If you don't have much sample, you might just want to pour off the top. And so you can see this is the second pouring, so it's still pretty cloudy. But um, as I pour this, I want to feel down here and make sure I'm not getting any grains that I'm losing. Because my sample's pretty small, I'm not going to do that scrape off the top. So I can just start feeling coarse grain, so I'm going to stop there.